Hello, everyone, and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, last night when I couldn't sleep, I was watching a documentary about Harold Camping. Harold Camping was one of these American TV evangelists, or maybe I should say radio evangelists, who would broadcast religious messages from the 1960s until 2011, he would always be talking about the world ending. So in the 1980s, when I listened to him, I remember that he told us the Great Tribulation had begun. By 1994, he decided that the world was about to end, and he gave us that date as September the 6th, 1994. And of course, that date came, and that date went, and nothing happened. Then he changed his date to September 29th, 1994, and again, nothing. <laughs> and then he told us the world would definitely end on October the 2nd, 1994. So we all kind of listened to him uh, with a little bit of insincerity. I mean, by the time his third failed prediction happened, we were getting a little bit suspicious. Although in America, of course, they love that kind of thing. They were busy selling the property and moving to the mountain, waiting for this great event to happen. When it didn't happen, uh, he then changed the date to May 21st, 2011. He was sure that was the final date. And uh, on his radio station, he recorded a message to say, uh, sorry, I'm not here, but um, uh, me and all Christian people who are real Christians have been taken away into the sky. But please continue to listen to this radio station for further updates. Uh, of course, nothing happened in 2011. And in the age of the Internet, of course, he, he made headline news all over the world for failing to predict the correct dates of the world coming to an end. Um, he said that after May 21st, 2011, there would be five months of fire, brimstone, and plagues with millions of people dying every day. Well, he got the dying part right. I think probably millions of people in the world do die every day of natural causes. Uh, and then he said that the world would be destroyed on October 21st, 2011. His prediction for May 21st, 2011 was widely reported, probably because of a publicity campaign that his radio station started. Uh, it was a little bit strange. <laughs> he was encouraging us just to give away our property, all of our possessions, go to the mountain and wait. And of course, many people did. Um and uh, it was very sad because, of course, many people believed what he was saying. Um, and then he apologized and said how sorry he was. And he, I think, died uh, um, a few years later. But very sad, the things we did before the Internet came. But strangely, his voice still gives me a lot of peace and quiet. Isn't that strange? How a voice predicting doom and disaster for the coming years can make us fall asleep. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's the story of Harold Camping. His name is spelt camping, just like the camping trip, you know, to go into a tent, uh, into the wilderness. Um uh, he was actually born in 1921 in Colorado, then moved to California, uh, his parents were Dutch immigrants. Yeah, you see, this is the problem. Once you start kind of uh, talking about hatred and bad things, this is what happens. You get it all wrong and you end up as a Teacher Joseph podcast. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? But he had a whole radio uh, campaign and he kept buying over radio stations to broadcast his stuff. I remember him doing a program called The Open Forum. 
you can probably still find that on YouTube if you're interested. Uh, <clears throat> he wasn't a particularly good speaker, but I tell you this, he knew exactly where to find stuff in his Bible. You know, it was like one of these call-in shows. So you'd call him up and ask him a question. He knew what he was talking about, even if he wasn't particularly astute in other ways. Yeah. Um, of course, his radio, uh, his radio station and the empire he built up collapsed after the world didn't end. Um, but uh, as far as I know, uh, his radio station, Family Radio Reform, that is still around, but it doesn't ever mention him or broadcast anything by him. And so that's the very sad story of Harold Camping. Oh, my grandmother loved him. Yeah, she... <laughs> I'm not sure she believed him when it came to the the end of the world predictions. I mean, I can still see her sitting there swirling a, gra a glass of brandy or sherry, you know, while listening to him talking about... Uh, uh, the world ending in 1994. By the time his 2011 predictions came, of course, she was dead. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, very strange, very strange. I think this is a kind of leftover from the days before the internet, isn't it? You know, because before the internet, people were more open to believing such things. But uh, he was very astute with his uh, with his literature and his study of uh, Christian books, especially the Bible. But he he just <laughs> clearly didn't know what day of the week it was. I think that's it for me. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, let's catch up again soon. Bye.